Hello, rocket fans. In the work on the world's only crude crowdfunded space rocket speaker, I have now come to adding suspension lines to a first prototype for a growth parachute for the booster, uh, each of which will be 3.9 meters long or twice the diameter of the uh, Droke parachute. Uh, a few days ago we asked you to guess how long the suspension lines would be and the closest answer was 4.38 meters by Balcony Base on Instagram. So uh, congratulations on your guess. Nice work. These are the lines that we are going to finish today and uh, as you can see I have cheated a little bit and uh, made the uh, first end, first half of the uh, of the lines. Um, and what needs to be done now is to uh, to finish the other end and make the um, the the eyes in, in this end are also. Um, instead of showing you how I do it um, on these, because they they are long, as I said, they're three point nine meters long, so it's pretty carpison to, to show on, on this video. Uh, so instead I have, as always, if you're a good TV chef, uh, prepared a little example here. So I'm just going to show you with, with this uh, short line here how I'm going to uh, splice the, uh, the suspension lines and make eyes in each end. Way back in the beginning um, of the project when making suspension lines, you would typically just tie a knot, a uh, figure eight knot, when adding the suspension lines to the parachute. Since then, we have learned a lot of new tricks, one of which is the art of splicing the lines. So in order to do this, we have to have the right tool as well as the raw materials for this. So the tool I'm using is this, let's just call it a needle. Uh, which I really like because it doesn't have any sharp edges that can damage the line. And the line we're using in this test is a 1000 pound hollow rated spectral line, which is um, <clears throat> which does cost a little, uh, to say the least, but it's simply fantastic to work with. The method I like to use uh, is a combination of what you could call the uh, Chinese finger trap method, as well as a uh, self-logging uh, mechanism. Uh, so that it cannot go up again. How I do this is I start out by marking the points on the line where the line will go through itself. So I have this little template here that I use to uh, make sure that I have the, uh, the right size of the eye. So it's just a matter of lining it up one end here, marking the, um, the segments here like that. Having done that, I prepare the lower point from the end here, just by massaging it a little bit because it's simply impossible to get a get the needle in between here as it is right now. So if you massage it a little bit, like that, you can perhaps see here that. Um, nope. Okay, here we go. It is a little more easy to get through. I then add the. Uh, get the needle through the, the line, add the tip of the line here and basically just pull it through the hole like that. So that's the first part of it. I then do it again once more. If we just find the marking for the what is the upper part, massage this segment as well prepare it and once more stick the needle through this here. This time, and I did it the wrong way actually, I have to do it from this side because as you can see here the line goes out here and it will have to come through like that in order to align up properly in the end. So. We just get the uh, line through the needle once more, pull it through itself, and pull it all the way through here. Now the beauty is now that if you um, try to pull it, having done this, it is completely locked. It cannot go up again. 
But we still have this segment here that is uh, out in the free. And what you can do now to add a little bit of uh, extra strength to it, and also to uh, get this hidden away, you basically find a point a little further down from where it reaches now. Okay, massage this point as well. And then I gently put the needle on the inside of this line here and push it all the way up to just below this point here where they meet. I get the needle out just below the point and once more I get this line through, pull it all the way through itself on the inside this time, tighten it up a bit and pull the outer segment all the way down. So it's just a matter of stretching it out now so that it's nice and even. And voila, you have yourself a line with a, an eye in each, in each end. Well, in this case, just one end. Now, we can just do it all over again for this end if you want to. And in the end, what we have is basically a line with, the, with two eyes that can be used for securing stuff. Uh, I am, for example, uh, using such a line here to um, safeguard some keys for my younger son in his um, in his school bag, so that they they will not disappear for him, which they have a tendency to do. So uh, that's something you can do yourself now. Another fun fact: I had to do this 192 times in total from three main parachutes that were tested a couple of years ago. That became quite boring in the end. We can then do it once more for the other end of the line. Now this is a little bit tricky because now we have an eye here, but it's basically just the same thing to do, but it can be difficult because there's now more line that will go through itself, so um, sometimes this can be a little bit tricky, which, is, which it is now actually. That is all for now, so as always, thank you for watching and supporting. If you don't want to miss any of our future updates, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so we can see you next time when we get one step closer to space. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.compsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.